Good evening and welcome to the channel, Rosa here. Just wanted to uh, take a minute out to uh, talk to you about my team. Now, I'm really looking to help people again to build up their tier and build up their level. It's something that we've looked into before, but uh, it's something that became a bit irregular and we would help people here and there. Um, but unfortunately, most of the time, those people that we did help would end up going inactive at some point and it just became pointless in doing it um very recently we've had a player return um which is this player down here um he came in on the last team event and he was Ronin at the time and as you can see some of his cards are still quite low um, he came in as Ronin and he finished the event and the team background um in extinction tier so i figured why not make the opportunity again why not bring in some low tier players and we can we can again help them out hopefully they can build up and find a good team to move on and join so in the top right i put in a few requirements and a few things that you can you can do while you're here um so the first thing of course is that um if you are going to join our team um to get a boost then in theory you shouldn't have any top tier card so we we're looking to help players that have lower tiers um so then i put your tier um three tiers below the current tier level so if i click on this one this is the top tier right now and then the second tier and the third tier so anyone from pixel as it stands and lower we will look at a possibility of taking a new one as long as it doesn't affect our our team tier um if i go over here i can show you what our team tier looks like you can only access it through this way. Um, we can see that we're actually maximum tier right now. So if we drop into Octane, which is our ne the next lowest tier, then we may not be able to keep you. We may have to look at getting rid of you. Um, the other thing that we look at is your star level. So on your profile, um, you have your name, your wins, losses, and then what's called is your star rating. If I can click on that, there you go. Star rating represents the number of cards that you have been collected and proed. So we're looking for players above 2,000. We're not looking at players who've just quite literally just come into the game, done maybe 15 wins, five losses, and got like three, 400 starts. That's not really what we're after. We're after a little bit more established player um, who's just found it difficult to get through. Um, so at least a minimum of 2,000 on your star rating. And then what we'll do is we'll look at bringing you in. Um, after this team background, which we usually run at the start of the solo events. So this will take two days to process. Um, and then in those two days, we'd have a gap for, I think it's about a day and a half. Um, and then that brings up what would be the team uh, team event, whether that's Ring Domination or Team Road to Glory. Um, and then we'll run the team background again. And you'll also have the opportunity to do um, Team Stomping Grounds as well. Um, and we'll help you out with the bits and pieces on that. And we're... We've got um, videos to help you learn how to do team ground, learn how to do team stomping ground, learn how to do the team events. So you can always ask anybody in the uh, team chat. We're very willing to help. Um, the only time we won't be running this is perhaps if we go into a new tier. So we may not take anyone in then. Um, it may be possible we might take two people at a time, depending again if we drop down or not. Um, 
Now, after the team event, which obviously runs for the 24 hour period and then for the claim phase. Now, regardless of how you do, we will release you. We, we want to have to kick you in order to process new players. Unfortunately, that's just going to be the way it is. Um, what we'd recommend was to get yourself involved. Um, usually I'll write in the description here um, what the requirement is for the tier, when we're going to do matches, what the event card is, if that needs changing. Um, get involved because, I mean, I record these videos. So I've got, I've got plenty of evidence here. Um, look to get the minimum, look to get in and get your charges up get maxed um, and then you can use it as yourself you can take a screenshot and then use that as evidence to find yourself a new team um, to go into and it hopefully especially in in both team events you will have one of the top tier cards and you will have the second highest tier so those two cards are the important cards so this one this one whether you get female or not, I don't know what the event would be technically. You you may get female. These are the cards that matter. Um, the manager card can be helpful, but it, it doesn't make too much difference if I went into the team and changed that. Again, for the support card, it doesn't make a lot of difference. It's only really the free wrestlers. So your deck, if you, if you were looking to join a team, it will only really matter what your top three cards are there. The two males and your female. So yeah, we are going to open it up. I don't know whether you want to like the video, comment on the video, even just search my name, send me a message, say that you're looking to join the team and I will start to make a list and we will go from there. Thank you very much for your time and uh, hopefully we'll be able to help you.